Hummel-Polar welding is fast and versatile, a resistance forge method that needs a few seconds unlike the minutes needed for other similar resistance methods. The quick weld time reduces the heat affected zone in the weld. Micrographs show an almost imperceptible weld interface. Mechanical testing results indicate tough, strong welds. Note the failure in the parent metal and not the weld zone. Shown here are the basic generator components. The homopolar generator, bus work, hydraulic motor, and closing switch. This simple schematic shows the basic Faraday principle. A conductive disc rotates in a uniform magnetic field generating a voltage potential. Sliding contacts at the disc OD and shaft allow current to flow through a circuit. This process schematic of homopolar welding illustrates the main events that occur to make the weld. Times are shown below. Initially, the disc is motor to speed, storing mechanical energy. This step takes approximately three minutes, but is dependent on the prime mover power available. Once at speed, the uniform field is applied to the disc. A closing switch then makes the circuit, converting energy from mechanical to electrical. Current rapidly rises in the weld specimen. Peak current is reached in about one-tenth of a second and decays to zero in about three seconds. The weld interface becomes hottest as it is the most resistive part of the circuit. Electrodes are arranged around the weld specimen and tightened with appropriate contact pressure to achieve uniform current distribution. The sample is then loaded into a press to provide the forging load. The following sequence shows several welds being performed. 